Hey guys, what's going on? Fi my hot pawn here, and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. So, yeah, this is the new series I was talking about. Of course, I'm not sure I can guarantee the quality, given I am currently on my old PC. However, I do have some good news. Tomorrow, I will be getting my uh, old PC back, and I should have it good and ready to go within a reasonable time frame. Hopefully things are going well with it, and my hope is that whatever they've done, they fixed. But we'll have to see how things play out, because it was a bit of a mismatch of random things. I don't know what's going on with it, but hopefully it's good, because apparently the RAM hard drives were pushed out somehow. I don't know. But computer problems aside, let's get into things, and let's see what happens. Because this is a new series, and I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to it. So, as you can probably guess, I'm probably going to be going tactician. That's just how I usually go with things, so expect that. So yeah, we're going to go with tactician, and we'll see how things pan out. Alright. Now, I do have a plan in mind for how I'm going to be playing this game. So, just be aware of that as I'm playing. But, for now, I'll let the intro play out, and we'll see how things play pan out, really. Hmm. I think I put the volume a bit too low. Actually, hold on. Ugh. Well, there you go. That's not good at all, I would assume. <laughs> Who are you? All right. Uh, let's not reset tutorials. I'm, I should be good with tutorials. All right. Pop-ups. Nope, we should be good. Alright, so as you can probably tell, the quality isn't as fantastic as I would like it to be, but that will change next stream. So don't worry too much about what's going to happen, but for now, let's just get into things and see what happens. Starting off, let's make a custom origin. I won't be going to Dark Urge, as I'm sure people like that. I'm not going to be doing it personally. But I digress. We are going to go Elf, obviously. And I've been debating on a varied amount of cr people to play. But I think what I want to do the most is I'd like to play a... It's a, t it's a tear between Dwarf and Halfling. Because one of the two is going to be more fun. In the case of the Dwarf, I will get an extra d4 with uh, attacks if I use Enlarge, because I'd be going to Deep Rock Gnome. Or I would go Halfling, which would be equally as fun. Obviously, I intend to go Male, so... I think I'm going to go... I guess I could also go Gnome. 
they do get advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. But, eh. Do I go dwarf? I, I don't know. It's always the hardest part of choosing a game. I want something fun. That's all I really care about. So I think I'm going to go with something stocky, but... Do I go dwarf? I'm tempted. Let's see, what sort of sub-races do they have? They've got... I can increase my toughness by going gold dwarf. I can get more armor proficiency if I go shield dwarf. Or I could go Durgar, which will get superior dark vision. Uh, we will get resilience, and in the future we actually get some spells as part of it. So we also get advantage against illusions, against being charmed, or paralyzed as well. So that's another benefit. Uh, dwarven armor proficiency. I guess we could go with an armor, but because we're going druid, that might not be as likely to wear. Hmm. What does druid get, actually? Because we are going druid. I know that for a fact. An absolute fact, even. So, we are going to go Druid. We are probably going to go the Shillelagh route. Well, maybe not Shillelagh specifically, but there is a reason why I'm going Druid. So, you all understand that in due time. Hopefully. But, I digress. Hmm. Do I go Dwarf? Nah, I'm going to go Gnome. I'm going to go Gnome because I'm going to be choosing a very specific way of going about things. So, obviously, we're not going Rock Gnome. We are going to be going Deep Gnome here. Yes, it seems pretty common, but you'll understand soon why I'm doing this. We are going to go Druid class because I've got a very specific build in mind. And it's going to be hilarious if done right. So... Yeah, we're going to go Druid. We got our cantrips. And let's see, what do we got? We got Guidance, Poison Spray, Produce Flame, Resistance, Shillelagh, and Thorn Whip. Hmm. I think we're going to go Shillelagh, obviously, because that's going to be very good for staffs or clubs. Uh, Guidance is always a fantastic spell to have, so grabbing that... As for our abilities, let's see. Uh, given what I'm going to be going with, I don't need stealth, but I can use it if need be. Uh, let's see. I like the idea of being a folk hero. I'm tempted, anyways. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's play an entertainer. It, it's an odd choice, but there is reason I'm... Well, maybe not acrobatics, actually. Is there anyone with athletics? Athletics and survival. I guess an outlander would work. Plus, it makes sense with a druid, right? As for our skills, it's going to seem odd, but we are going to immediately drain all of our stats from Strength Index. We are going to obviously assign Wisdom as the core focus. We'll take out the secondary, and we will actually put the secondary in uh, Charisma. Seems like an odd choice, but there is reason for it. We will put a point there. Let's see. Put a point in charisma. Well, I guess no. Constitution's more important here. We'll put a point in charisma, and now we've got six points. I will average out the dexter dexterity and strength. We are not going to be touching... In well, I guess we could touch intelligence and average it out. Ah. 
The thing is, I know there's an item that we can use in the future, so that is why I'm considering using intelligence as a boost, as opposed to things like strength and dexterity. But again, I guess we'll see how things play out. So I guess I will go with... I guess an extra point in con would do well. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can add more to Wisdom, so I guess that's just how it's going to have to be. I will increase my... Yeah, Athletics, Nature, Animal Handling, and Survival are pretty much the core there. Uh, I guess I will increase Intelligence by two, just so I have an average. Actually, no. Let's get Dexterity up by one, so at least we have a plus one to AC and Initiative. That will help when we are surprised. As for our skill proficiencies, we get nature and animal handling naturally. But I think what we're going to go with is we are going to grab perception. And let's see. Um, I don't need animal handling as much, but I will grab insight. And hopefully in the future we can get some new skills, but we'll have to see. I'll probably have to multi-class into another class in order to get more, but I digress. There's no heavy pressure on us, because I can supplement with abilities, I'm sure. So, Athletics, Insight, Perception, and Survival. Pretty good set of standard abilities. I think I can make that work. Alright, prepared spells. We will take out all of these for now. And let's see what we can cast. Uh, Entangle's a good staple control spell, so I'll be grabbing that. Fog Cloud's also a good staple, but we shouldn't need that just yet. Uh, Thunder Wave is a great push spell. Not that we're going to be using it. We are going to need some passive spells, mainly, because those are going to help us a lot. So, I guess we will grab... Yeah, we're going to grab Enhanced Leap and Long Strider, because we're going to be using those a lot for the immediate future. Animal Friendship. Tempting, but not required. I could use a good berry here. Conjure four magical berries into you or your companion's inventory. Creatures who eat a berry regain a d4 of hit points. So it's basically a 4d4 of healing versus a d4 plus 3 or a d8 plus 3. Hmm. This would be at minimum 4, at most 11, versus 16. Uh, 4 to 16, rather. We're going to go with good berries. It's an odd choice, but it's a useful choice. Now, I could, of course, go with a spell like Ice Knife, for example. But there is a specific type of druid I'm going for. So, you'll understand soon enough why I have so such low physical stats, as opposed to, you know, what I've got currently here. Okay, we are going to proceed with this. I'm quite satisfied. We are going to call our character Whimsy. Oh, right, before I actually continue, I did want to edit my character's appearance. I completely forgot about that. As for appearance, we're going to go with... We'll go with the stubble guy here. It's a bit awkward given the quality currently. I will fix that later next stream. We're going to go with a scar, a uh, skin color. We're going to have all skin colors. And we're immediately going to go to a tinge of... Let's see. Not there. Has to be a nice green. I guess an olive green here. Olive tone there. That should work. Or I could go with the lime tone. We go for a darker color. 
That should work. A bit of an odd color, but it'll make sense in a few... Well, immediately, what I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna go for the... No scarring. Uh, let's make ourselves pretty old. A lot of freckles. Intense freckles. <laughs> and we could do pigmentation, but I don't like that, so... We'll just avoid it. As for face paint, I think I'm gonna need a luchador-esque style. But I guess we'll see how things pan out. And my hope is that the recording is going well on kick, but we'll have to see how things pan out. Hopefully it's going to work out, but worst case, it doesn't work. Let's see, we are going to want... Hmm. I think we'll go with... Let's go with Pouring Hate. Why not? We're going to go for a nice deep hue. It looks a bit horrible right now, so I might have to actually... You know what? Actually, I can change the settings here. Hold on. Let's increase the settings to Ultra, see if that actually helps things. Yeah. It seems to actually work, so we can actually uh, get with a high setting. It's just going to be a bit laggier. I, at least I think. Where to next? Hmm. What was it? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Oh, God. <laughs> Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. This. It's opened. I wonder more of those wretched things. Let's go with Voice 5. I like that. It's weird, but fun. Okay, no, we need body type 2, obviously. Okay. We've already got the body art. Uh, piercing style. Uh, I do believe there is one that actually caught my attention. Uh, it's the Midnight Tears. Here we go. Got a little bit of bone on it. Gotta get my goblin in. Uh, we can go with Heterochromia, but I don't need to do that. So I'm gonna go with some... Let's go with Demonic Red. Why not? Let's get some nice red-colored eyes in there. As for makeup, eh, we shouldn't need any. Last time I uh, tried, it didn't really look that great, so... Let's see. I do believe going no hair is just better in the case of Goblin. At least I personally think so, so... That's what we're going to do. And facial hair. You know, I think he needs a mustache. Yeah, let's go with a mustache. And we're going to go for a... I guess black neutral or black brown. Either would work, really. Could also go for a nice, beautiful red. Yeah, let's go for a nice, beautiful... Well, let's go for red. Why not? A nice, curly mustache to add to the mix. Or I could go for the charlatan's goatee. That would also be good. A uh, gray neutral. I could make it frosty, but there's no need for that. Okay, hmm. Yeah, let's go for the deep... Well, I could go for uh, brown-red. Yeah, it's not that good. Yeah, we'll go for the just raw red. Why not? There we go. And I think that does it for the appearance. I think I'm good with this. Yeah, we're gonna go with a goblin with a uh, red set of facial hair. A red mask, and we're good. Whimsy. Here we are. Shillelagh and Guidance to start us out, and we should be good there. As for our Guardian... Uh, you know what? I'm... 
I know exactly who I'm going to choose. I'm going to be choosing a male orc. An odd choice, I know, but it makes sense for a uh, funny gag me and my uh, friends have. Okay, we're going to go for the most aggressive. I, I think this would work. We are going to go for a nice olive green, much like before. We are going to have a scar here. Make him old. No freckles or vertigo interpretations. We will have the pouring hate, much like we did with our goblin. We'll go for a red two as opposed to the red that we got for a goblin. No piercings. As for the eye color, let's see. I could go solid black, but there's no need. We'll go for this blue. As for makeup, no need. Hair color. Hmm. Uh, I think bald is perfectly fine as well. There we go. Facial hair. Unlike the goblin, we just need a bit of a stubble here. And we'll go with a black neutral. There we go. Bit of an odd choice for an orc, but... Hey, okay. that's just how I do it. So there we go. We should be good to go at this point. So now, if things are going well on stream, I'm hoping they do. Because uh, uh, from my perspective, I can't see the live or recording amount of time that's going. So we'll just hope it goes well. But I digress. I think I'm good to go. That is my guardian. I guess I could do a female, couldn't I? Hmm. Nah. We'll go with the orc. I do have a name for him, but that will come in due time. For now, let us watch the cinematic.
Well, that's one hell of an entrance, to say the least. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. With what I have in mind, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it, to say the least. So, I guess we'll see how things play, pan out. But, I digress. I guess we'll see how things pan out. Is our goblin. All right, here we are. Oh, I had that. All right, so it's been a while since I've actually done this. I did try briefly at one point to do this, so I'm just trying to get my bearings about me. So just give me a second. I'm going to remove this out. Uh, I will keep the potions here because I'm going to need them. All right, we'll move that there, move this back a little bit. And I'm going to quickly organize my stuff real quick. So let's see. Oh, one second. Oh, hold on. All right, where was I? Ah, oh, yeah. All right, so to start out with, we should probably organize where things are going to go. So... I should probably put Hide over here. I'm definitely going to be using Throw in the near future. But that is going to go over here. We're going to put that there. Shove is going to be over here, I guess. Uh, Dash can go here. Popple I will put next to my melee weapons, which is probably actually... Uh, it's part of that attack, so I can get rid of Dip here. I'll put jump there, shove there. I can get rid of topple. I'll keep throw. Improvised melee weapon, I will keep. Uh, as that will use an improvised weapon. Disengage can go here. And I guess I will put... Well, first I'm going to put this here. Because that's going to be more helpful. I'm going to put push here. And we will go from there, I guess? I think that should be fine. All right, now that we've got something organized, let's go check out this room, because there's quite a few things that we can grab around here. Uh, it appears we got an amethyst. We got a cartilage chest, which has some gold in it. We'll grab that. Uh, there is a few other things, but yeah, let's check it out. Someone else got out. Ah, I see. And then there's the nursery. The pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Let's investigate the pool, even though we're probably not going to be uh, very good with it. Uh, I forgot to add a bonus. My bad. <laughs> not that we would have made that with an additional D4. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Okay. Let's do the stupid thing and uh, reach into the pool, just for fun. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Ow. Another step forward. Well, that was a silly thing to do, but whatever. Alright, well. Yeah, just don't do silly things like that and you should be alive, but hey, my character is a bit curious, so why not? I'll grab that. What's this? Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Alright, I'm not going to be picking those up because they are very cheap, and I don't think they actually hold much merit into picking them up. 
But I am going to explore as much as I can, grab what I can, and make the most out of our first trip in this uh, Nautiloid ship as much as we can anyways. But it does seem like that is it in this area, so we will continue on. And the reason I am going with such a low strength build, you'll understand soon why in a bit. But there will come a time where you guys understand what I'm doing. And it will come very readily apparent once we hit level 2. Or at least I hope it does. Okay, we're going to go through. And what do we got here? We've got a goblin here and a lithid record. Images oh. of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. That's ominous. A rune slate. The schematic of a nautiloid flashes into a memory. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. The feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the world. Caution. Oh. And this? Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. And what about this? A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Okay, that's ominous, but there's been sounds going on up here, so let's check this out. Let us begin. Now, despite my appearance, I am going to be playing as a good character. So, I'm going to be playing a good line goblin this time around. So this is going to be interesting, to say the least. Uh, which has been very odd to what I've been doing as of late. Alright. Whom must you be? Oh. Come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? Well, actually, no. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. Okay, so it must mean that this creature is the brain, obviously, and it's afraid of, I guess, the dragons and the imps? Who am I talking to, a man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. Hmm. I think you're... Hmm. Do I save this brain or do I leave it? I guess it is an abomination against nature. Let's destroy the brain. Normally I would have saved it, but... It is a creature on a nautiloid ship, of all things, so it just makes sense that you gotta kill it. At least if you're playing a reasonable character. Better to get rid of it than let it live and cause problems. At least, that's what I personally believe. Of course, you can use it as a tool, and that's thinking ahead, but... Eh. I don't want to use it. Alright, let's get going. A lot of dragons, though, that's for sure. Hopefully not a bad thing, though. I guess we will see. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. 
visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Uh, my head. What is this? Squall, you are no thrall. Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. I'd prefer a name, preferably, but whatever. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mindfully of parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. We are turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do, surely. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Alright, sounds like a plan. Let's deal with the threat at hand. First it's Lazel, then it's me, and then it's these guys' turns. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Alright, as for her movement, I'm not going to sort out her abilities just yet. But normally what I do is I normally like to jump to begin with combat, and then strike the enemy. That is my personal choice of uh, how I engage fights, for the most part. And I guess we will... I guess we can go for a normal main attack. It's not like we have any reason to deny ourselves this chance. Yeah, let's go for a normal attack. Shouldn't be too bad. Nice. And then we'll march our way over to this imp. Basically, either to be a distraction or otherwise. From here, I'm going to activate the shillelagh ability to give my weapon a boost and I should be able to just whack this imp without too much hassle there we go now will be my turn the imps will begin their antics at this point a critical miss and a main hand attack for one damage should be able to just get an attack on this imp here there we go and if I do miss, then I do have the option with Lazel to attack. But for now, a quick wick with the attack should be fine. Alright, we are going to grab whatever we can here. Uh, it does matter that we do this, because otherwise we will not get as much reward for doing so. But yeah, no, me looting is going to be a necessity, and it's going to get us some new weapons that we could potentially use. So that is why I'm going through the effort of grabbing these before I do anything too crazy. I'll grab these imps here. Another dead thrall here. Get some nice item there. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else around here? I do believe there would have been a chest... I think that might be further up, though. Unless I'm wrong. What's this? Restoration. Lord, I feel better. Huh. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess we'll leave it there. Alright, a dead thrall. The ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Okay, we got some simple clothing, a nice few set of items. We can go from there and continue on. No reason to not touch these guys and grab their stuff. Okay, up we go. I don't see a reason to grab anything from there. And I don't see anything on the back there, so yeah, let's keep going. 
Okay, we're gonna go into our inventory. This is where our inventory is, and we can basically choose a number of things that we can grab. We're gonna immediately equip ourselves with a longbow. And while I would like to use a a different weapon, a quarterstaff is arguably better for us because of shillelagh, which gives us an increase into damage, which is pretty good. From here, I guess we go in and check things out. Hello. Backpack and somebody stuck inside. We are actually going to make an effort to pick up backpacks when we can because they will be used for inventory sake. I'm also going to be picking up these nautiloid things because they do act as potent explosives, if I recall correctly. You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Hmm. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Alright. console appears dormant. Let's look for a switch or release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Hmm. Interesting. Hit it. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Well, that's a shame. Okay. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Yeah, so it seems. There might be something up here that we can check out. I don't see a reason why we can't check it out after all, so let's go see what's going on. Okay, we got a gold key and a scimitar. We'll grab those. It does appear that we got intellect of ours. I think I'm going to have to get into combat with them, but all in due time. Uh, I won't be touching anything here for a number of reasons, but... What is this? This is a slave mind. A humanoid brain, alive and in perfect condition. Suspended in cerebral spinal fluid. Oh, lovely. Not really, but okay. Uh, an Eldritch Rune. Uh, we are going to drop this out. We'll grab the gold here. Close that, and... Oh, I guess we're going to have to pick it up. Oh, yeah, no, this is the controls that we need. Okay, never mind. Hello. The dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Yeah, no kidding. Can I deal with you guys? Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I can attack these guys. This might give us a little bit more experience, so that is why I'm going through the effort of uh, attacking them. And I should be able to just barely get there. So I'm going to make a jump here. And I'm going to go for a lacerate here, specifically. There we go. Now they're bleeding. Okay, the brain is going to claw Lazel. Apparently very strong, no less. Okay, we're going to swap to a weapon. We're going to activate Shillelagh. Not enough resources, so I'm going to have to move up. End my turn here. And then we will attack the Intellect Devourer again. 
Okay, that's not enough. So I guess a pommel strike is going to have to do. There we go. And hope Lazel doesn't go down. But they do go down because of the bleed. There we go. Alright, it's at this point I'm going to be using... Hmm. I think I use Good Berry here, and we're going to give it to Lazel here. That way you can get some good berries, and then that way she can heal. There we go. A nice, juicy set of heal. Just for a good berry. Which is actually really good, all things considering. Alright, let's get our new companion here out. And I guess we'll see how things pan out. Insert the rune into the socket. The console hums to life. There we go. Let's look at it. Even though we're probably not going to get it, we'll check it out. I will add guidance for myself. And let's begin. Hey! 20. Not bad. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Let's place our hand on the console. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Hmm. Well... This feels like the way to open the pod, so let's do it. I don't intend to use this often, but hey. Let's just do what we can. At the very least, this seems like the best option you to feel the help. the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Ugh. Probably won't be doing that often, that's for sure. But hey, it got this person out, at least, so there is merit to it. At last. Thought I was done for. Good day. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Hmm. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight, to be fair. fair. Point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Alright, sounds good. I'm whims Whimsy. Shadowheart. One moment. Oh, what's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Oh, suit yourself. Okay. Very well. Hello. Life flickers in his eyes. But he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. Hmm. What about the others? The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Oh, some buttons! Okay. Aggression. Aggression and... Okay, uh, let's press this. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Hmm. Okay, so that doesn't work anything. Okay, so I guess... Hmm. Well, we don't want to press aggression, so... Let's see if anybody else can figure out what's going on with the other two. 
Ooh, I was just about to press that one. Okay, so in that case... Never mind. Hmm. None of them really seem like a good option, so I'm gonna just leave it alone. I could touch up on it, but there's no need. Let's see. Another Dark Mind. Or what is this? And a Dark Mind? Okay. It's basically another brain. There is an illicit manuscript. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. That's ominous. Uh, this is a locked item, so I'm just gonna pick it up for now, and hold on to it, and we'll go from there. Got burnished necklace as well, so I guess we'll keep going there. And what is this? This is just a normal burnished necklace. Nothing too special going on with it. Okay, I can work with that. Okay, with that, we can go into here, and we are met with nothing really too special. Before we go any further, I am going to be doing something with Shadowheart, however. And I'm going to quickly go to her... Where is it? We're going to go to her spellbook here. And we're going to quickly swap out some things that she currently has. We don't need guidance because I'm already used. Well, she already has guidance, so whatever. I'll probably swap that out in the future, but for now we should be fine. We get Charm Person and Disguise Self for free. So we are... We're good with healing currently, so we're going to go with Inflict Wounds, because it's a very powerful spell. We are going to go with Guiding Bolts, because that's really good to have. We're going to go with Command, and we're going to go with Bless. Those are the best spells that I believe go for us. Uh, let's see. We'll ask the game for it, for the Attacks of Opportunity. Let's see. Got some good spells, or good stuff. Alchemy, we can touch upon later. For now, though, we should be perfectly fine. Alright, with that, though... We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Oh, okay. you in charge. I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. Goodness. Already some spice between the two. Not a good thing, but whatever. It's not our problem right at this moment. Given that we're entering the helm, what we're going to want to do is, I think we're going to enter turn mode. And we are going to buff before we enter. So I'm going to cast Shillelagh. Let's get on with it. We'll get Shadowheart to cast Bless on everybody. There we go. Give everybody a boost to their stats. Whimsy already cast his spell. Uh, Lazel, is there anything you can do? Not really. So I guess we'll just enter and go in. Let's do this. We're buffed and ready to go. Ooh, violent. Sounds like a plan. Oh god. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll begin with Lazel, I guess. We're gonna start with her doing that. We're gonna investigate, obviously, but for now we should probably go on the offense. Let's see, we can either go for a main attack, attack, or we can go for the Firebolt. Firebolt's a d10, this is a 2 to 7. Uh, concussive Smash possibly dazes the target. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Concussive Smash here to potentially take out the M. Or at the very least, we got the daze out. 
Uh, we can shove them as well, if need be. Uh, let's check the intellect devourer here. Nope, okay. We are going to shove this one. Push. Here we go. And I guess we end our turn going up here. Okay, as for me, I guess the best order of action is to go for the lesser Hell's Boar. We're going to make an attack up this one. There we go. Probably not going to get a shove off, but I can try. Yeah, I failed. But hey, we tried. Okay, they're trying to get some ranged attacks on me. That's perfectly fine. We'll use this chance to... We'll get her to jump over to get an attack here. There we go. Ah! Nuts. I misclicked. There we go. We'll move up as much as we can. End our turn there. Mind Flare is doing its best to deal with uh, what's his face here. To no avail. Ooh, the Mind Flare has taken a lot of hits. Okay, we are going to need to jump over to here. We will make an attack over at this one. Alright. We are going to pick up these Nautiloid tanks. Because there is merit in doing so. Uh, I'm going to miss out on getting that Intellect Devourer, but it's fine. We are going to make an effort to go over here. Alright, we end her turn. Now let's see. We could do a ranged weapon attack here. And I think I'm actually going to do that, so hit the lesser imp here. Okay, that nearly got the kill, but that's not enough. We will get the loot here. Okay, nothing really sticks out. Okay, I'm going to make an effort to go get this Intellect Devourer, even though I'm probably not going to make it, yep. Alright, the Imp's going to go after Lazel, but it's not going to be enough. So we are going to make an effort to pick this up. And we will attack the Lesser Imp. Gather what we can here. Oh god. <laughs> the Imp's losing it. We'll grab his crossbow while we got the chance. Go here. Grab that. And I guess we will make our way to his turn. Alright. That's a lot of damage, jeez. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to use... Command. And we're going to use Command Drop here. And hopefully... Yep, there we go. We've got the weapon here. And we need to be very careful here. So we're gonna jump. We're gonna pick up the Everburn Burn Blade. And I don't think we will provoke. Yep, thankfully we don't. As we just took his weapon from him. <laughs> okay, we are going to quickly grab this Intellect Devourer. Nothing there, okay, grab this. Uh, I guess I will dash, because I don't need any e extra actions here. So we're going to make our way over to this direction here. With our uh, druid. And hopefully that's going to work in our favor. And we're going to start... You know, getting away from this guy. As much as we possibly can. I'm not confident I'll be able to beat him on Tactician difficulty, so I'm not going to bother. So I guess I will go from there. Uh, not enough movement, so done. 
Yeah. Or your spine is mine. Nearly out of sky. No more the death now or never. We must take the transponder. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, we are going to make our way across. Not enough movement. We can jump from here. So we're going to make a move there. There we go. Good job, Lazel. Hurry before they strike. Okay, we're going to make an effort to... I guess we can Sacred Flame here. We're going to aim for... Aim for this lesser imp, I suppose. There we go. It's a cantrip after all. We're gonna grab this lesser imp here. We're gonna aim for the void bulb here. Oh, we are gonna need to dash. That's perfectly fine though. Grab this. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because, well, we won't be able to grab these before by the end of it, so. Us doing this is kind of required. Okay, so I'm going to make an effort to jump. Uh, not enough movement. But I can make an effort to jump as far as possible here. And get a ranged attack at least. Or, dare I say, rush attack here. Um, we are going to go for the rush attack against... Not enough movement here, but we could definitely do the Lesser Hell's Boar. There we go. Knocked off balance by the charge, and there we go. That is how you're going to get some serious movements. Oh dear, the Mind Flare is, uh... Mind Flare is nearly dead. Okay, we're going to grab... Okay, nothing there. How about Mind Flare? Grab that. Let's actually get to Whimsy here. We are going to make him dash. Let's see, can we get him to dash? Yeah, we can get him to jump to mitigate some of the distance that we need. So we're going to go over here. There we go. And we should be able to get everything here. Yeah, I can't get those just yet. But I can end my turn here. Now I can go for an attack, or I can go forward here. Uh, let's aim to kill the... Let's aim for the Lesser Hellbor, because that is arguably a bit more dangerous. There we go. We're going to make an effort to jump all the way over here. So that way, if the imp does try and run against us, we can aim for them. There we go. You are going to run back. And use Fiery Bolt. Interesting. Let's swap to a ranged weapon. And let's start pelting you. There we go. We'll swap back to our melee weapon here. Just keep to that. Uh, the commander is really, really, or rather the, yeah, these guys are really doing us in. Okay, let's hope we can, uh, escape before long. Okay, he's, ooh. We're gonna take you out. All right, and let's see. Oh, I can't even catch my breath. Grab these. Okay. okay. Now, this may seem like an odd thing to do, but I'm going to make a ranged attack against the Mind Flare to try... Well, actually, no. If I wait long enough, I should be able to actually just... Yeah, I can get an attack on the Lesser Imp here. There we go. I'll swap to my Shillelagh Club for now. And we'll go from there. I could move over and run at this point. 
But let's see if I can't grab anything extra along the way. Let's see, Cambion, Lesser Imp, Intellect Devour, okay, nothing there. How about the Hellbore here? Nothing. Okay, let's uh, end our turn here. Okay, we're gonna aim for the... I guess we should be fine. Okay, it's gonna seem like an odd choice, but I'm gonna move her back. And we should be good. Let's end our turn here. The Mind Flare is probably gonna die at this point, so let's get ready for that. <laughs> oh, one damage. Let's see, is it the same here? Probably gonna do a ton of damage here. Oh, there go there he goes. Critical miss, oh god. And six damage. Okay, we're gonna start with Lazel. We are going to make her jump here. We're gonna grab the caustic bulb. We're also going to make her grab the Mucoid Shells. Uh, we are also going to have her dash. Just so we get as much movement as we possibly can. Let's check the Mind Flare. Can't reach destination. Dang it. Okay, uh, Goblin Boy. Uh, I don't think I can disengage with you, can I? Okay, um... Yeah, I think it's time. Go on, Shadowheart. Interact with it. Let's go. That's a, that's as much as we're gonna get, I think. Let's get going. And we're out of there. Nice. Now, I will admit, I haven't been doing a lot of wrestling with my character. My hope is that this will change once we hit level 2. But you'll understand what I'm going for once we actually reach that point. And you'll understand why I'm calling myself a wrestler as well. But all that and more in due time. You'll understand soon enough, I'm sure. But I digress. All that and more will be unveiled in time. Okay. Taking his time, but that's just how it goes, I suppose, right? <laughs> All right.
Oh god, the textures. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a common theme. Wait. Hmm. Seems part of the ship was gone. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I was expecting problems, but not to this extent. Hopefully this is not going to be a common theme, but hey, we're alive, we're awake, and something saved us, to say the least. But I guess we will see how things pan out in the future. You wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Where did I land? The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Alright, sounds like a plan. Seems like we got still quite a bit to do before things, you know, get better for us. But hey! We're alive, we're well, and we did manage to survive the crash. And hey, we're almost to level 2, which is the key point where this build will start to thrive, I think. So, I hope you guys look forward to that. But hey. Oh, hey. Hello. Hey, you awake? Come on, up you get. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Ah, uh, I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Hmm. Now what? First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Okay. Do you have an idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. True. You want to stay together, I take it. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. All right, cool. We've got ourselves a companion, and now, while I have the chance, I'm going to start dis or putting things into our camp. Oh, one second. Okay, apologies. All right, let us just send this to camp here. And we are going to really quickly organize our stuff. So I'm going to put my potions here. Revivify scroll, keychain go over here. As well as the alchemy pouch and the camp supply pack. We are going to open the camp supply pack, but we are going to send this to the camp. So that way we can be a little lighter on our feet. We are going to put our gold right... Uh, let's put our gold actually right here. Then we'll move the camp supply camp... We'll move that there. There we go. Swap these. There we go. That way we got a bit more organization. I'm going to throw the caustic bulbs, the void bulbs, and what else? 
Uh, we got the bag here. So I will be keeping that for the time. Uh, do we need anything else? Long way to go still. All right. I guess I'll do the same thing for Lazel. Uh, maybe not potions there. Let's see. These things have stayed interesting. Okay, we will... My faith will guide me. All right, let's start by putting the alchemy pouch here. We'll put the camp supply pack here. Key chain can go here. No one back home will ever believe this. It's basically that. I'll keep the finances, basically, and we'll send this to the camp. There we go. Uh, we're going to send all these to the camp as well. And we actually got ourselves the Everburn Blade, which is a lovely item to have. Of course, I can't use it, but we can certainly give it to Shadow Heart, which would arguably be better than her mace, uh, combined with her shield, if she wants to use it, that is. It is two-handed, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, great sword, two-handed. So we will have to keep that in mind. We will send that to we'll send that to Whimsy. We'll send this to Whimsy. And we'll keep her potions here, as well as her scroll of revivify. We will send the axe to Whimsy. And she can have the artifact. I'm not going to be taking it from her, nor am I going to be asking about it for just this time. We will send the scroll of detect thoughts to Whimsy, though. As for the Everburn Blade, I guess we can send it over as well. Why not? Okay. Detect thoughts we are going to keep on, uh, on hand. Uh, did I... Did I toss it? What? What am I to do? Wait, hold on. Where'd it go? No time to rest. Oh, there it is. Apparently it disappeared on me. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna keep the Everburn Blade for the future. We're gonna send this elaborate reliquary over to camp. And I guess we will send a light crossbow over to Shadowheart for her to potentially use. If we can, I'd like to get her a bow, but all that and more in due time. So I will quickly swap her weapon over, like so, and we should be good to go. All right, well with that, is there anything else I wanna keep? I'm gonna keep the spiked bulb. It is an item that we can use, so I will be keeping it right there, I suppose. In fact, I'm going to probably put throwables on this row and scrolls below that. From there to here, we are going to mark these as wares. Because I don't see a reason for us to swap to anything else. And the mace, 2 to 7. Let's see. A scimitar would arguably be better, I think, but... It really doesn't matter, I don't think. Yeah, we're gonna select all these, and we're gonna toss them into the back here. This is my way of basically sorting inventory, so that's just how things go. Anyways, with that, we can begin moving. Let's see what we can find. There's gonna be a lot of stuff, so we're gonna be penny pinching, as of right now, anyways. Take that. A backpack. We're going to probably be taking the entire thing. We get an old floppy hat. And we're going to pick up this backpack. Pick up. That is another bag that we can use for supplies if we ever need to. And we got this hat. I'm going to equip it. Why not? <laughs> We have no reason to not. Uh, the pouch might actually come in handy, so I'm going to probably pick that up as well. Uh, the pouch, it weighs 0.3 pounds. It is a storage, so there you go. Might be useful. We'll grab the mergrass. Alright. We'll grab the dead fisher here. Seems like we got an intellect devourer around. Lovely. Alright, shanties of the Birch Queen. We're not going to be dealing with that, that's for sure. Fish heads. Well, it's food. I'm not going to complain. We can use these. Ooh. Okay. 
Grab that. And off we go. Got ourselves a backpack. There must be a settlement nearby. Well, I'll grab those. I will pick up that. Shanties. Uh, I do believe that actually taking that is going to give us some gold. Yep. So we're going to penny pinch as much as we can, like I've said. At least for now. Because we are going to need a temporary item for the immediate future. And an important item for later on. Sigh. I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. We'll be late. Love, Anna. Man, poor Fisher, huh? Well, whatever. It's his butt that got, uh, taken out after all, so I guess... I guess that just happens. That's what happens. Uh, bottle we don't need. Let's see, is there anything we don't need to, to keep? Uh, I guess, uh, supplies go in here. We'll ditch anything that we don't need. Finest well water. Bottled for convenience. <laughs> I mean... I'm not gonna be... Well, I, I guess I could, but nah, let's... Let's... Let's make it a point to take anything that is within... Well, I guess I'll add to wares here. Toss this here. Alright, I'll send these back to... Camp. Because we don't need them currently. We're gonna grab this Belladonna here. Got a few other barrels here that we can investigate. Sublimate of Belladonna. Okay. Grab these. Ooh, we got some thieves tools. Cool. We might be able to start picking locks at this rate. But all in due time. Intellect Devourer. Yeah, nothing. Mangled Fisher. We will grab the fish, but not the bottle. And we've now got a portal. So, these portals are very important. You'll come to appreciate them in due time, but they basically allow you to teleport around the land, which is really nice. As you can probably imagine. So, we've got an ancient door and a bunch of other stuff. Hmm. Dagger root. Okay, we got ashes of dagger root. Uh, let's save here. We will save it as stream one. Let's just save it as the crash. Why not? It makes the most sense after all. Can get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Yeah. There's no way I'm picking the lock either. Or at least I'm not confident I can. I guess I could break it though. Let's try and break it. Can I? Yeah, no, I can't. Never mind. I tried. Okay. Abducted commoners. Better be cautious. Okay, we're gonna get into stealth here real quick. As it does appear that we've got ourselves some enemies. Let's be careful about this. Now, can I get the drop on him? More of those wretched things. Okay. I think what we're going to do is we are going to enter turn-based mode here. We are going to cast Shillelagh here. Oh. They saw me. Yeah, no, they, they very much saw me. 
Let's hit him with an entangle here. There we go. Now they're forced to stay there. Actually, they take burning just by the uh, fire. Best keep some distance, or this will be a short fight. Oh yeah, exactly. Um. Let's see. We can do a guiding bolt on this intellect devourer. I think that's better than using a normal attack. We are going to swap over to a normal weapon here. End our turn here. That one's currently locked in place. Okay, uh, I'm going to use a bonus action to down a vial of healing. And we'll go for the whack here. There we go. End our turn there. That one's going to be forced to run. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I can either go for the 2 to 9 or I can go for the 1 to 10. I'm going to go with the reliable 2 to 9. We got advantage because it's currently entangled. And we've now got the level up. Which is really good for us. We are going to move out of the way here just in case this creature decides to do something fancy. And let's see. That one's way too far off. So I'm not going to bother going for it. Well, actually, no, I can. It'll be at a distance, but it's fine. We will swap over to Shillelagh here, just for the Shillelagh Club, and get ready for some more violence. Ow. Okay, we are going to make an effort to ranged attack again. And this should get the kill. Nope, it does not. But then again, that's why I'm here. I'll try and get a hit. There we go. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Indeed. I will use this chance to use... Maybe a hold off on the good berry. For now, let's level up. Because I do believe we can benefit from leveling up here. Alright. Now it's time for where the build truly shines. And you'll understand why in a minute. Once I hit level 2, that is. Alright. We have a few places that we can go with. Uh, we've got Wild Shape. We can Wild Shape into various things, if we go Circle of the Land, mind you. And we also gain a Cantrip. However, we are going to be going for the Circle of the Moon specifically. If I recall correctly, was the right one. Because this should give us the Bear Form? Or is it a Land? Uh, wild Shape, Lunar Mend... Yeah, no, this is we we are going uh circle the moon because this will allow us to get wild shape bear, which is a very unique one, but it's paramount for our build that we're trying to do. So we're going to go circle of we're going to go for that circle. We get the combat wild shape, we get some actions to s turn ourselves into various other creatures, and we get some new spells. Alright, as for the new spell that we are going to go with... Hmm. I think Charm Person is what we need. No, we do need a Tangle. We're going to get rid of Ice Knife. Um... I think Charm Person is what we need. In higher difficulty modes, Target might accuse you of enchanting them, yeah. <laughs> uh, alternatively, I can go with Fairy Fire. Either way would work, really. Hmm. All targets within the light turn visible, and attack rolls against them have advantage. Okay, you know what? Fairy Fires arguably are uh, a little bit better. 
and it will work as a dex save if we need to control targets. Uh, in the future, we're probably not going to be relying too heavily on this, but hey, if we do end up, you know, turning into human form, there we go. Uh, we could get Speak with Animals, though, as well. That's an option. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of Fairy Fire. Let's get Speak with Animals. Why not? That's a good utility spell. Boom. Okay, that is our druid form. And... We will add to... Where's this? Toss it in. And we'll keep the thieves tools on us currently. We'll move them over here. Move this down here, I guess. That there, there we go, and done. Alright, it's time for Shadow Heart to get upgraded. And I guess we'll see how things fare. Okay, she's a level 2 cleric now. And she gets some nice new abilities, nothing too crazy, I would assume. Turn Undead, Invoke Duplicity. Whatever that is. And she currently has these prepared spells. No need to change what she's got, because I'm quite satisfied with it. Uh, I get, I will get rid of Cure Wounds, because we don't need it currently. Uh, Sanctuary is a good, reliable spell. But I think for now, what we need most is Shield of Faith. Or at least I'm most comfortable with Shield of Faith right now. Early on, we're going to need as much AC as possible. But hey... Now, we get some pretty good abilities. Okay, we get Wild Shape. Okay, let's add some stuff. Okay, so we've got Wild Shape here. We're going to put this over into this slot here. Uh, we can use some more, more spells, but for now we should be fine. And it seems like I can use this endlessly. So as long as I uh, prep myself, I should be fine. Uh, for now, though, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be casting... I think I'm going to cast Speak with Animals on myself for now. There we go. And that will last until Long Rest. And then I'm going to cast Enhanced Leap on myself. And this will give me a boost to when jumping. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't cast it as a ritual. That's my mistake. Okay, so it's not that good. Unless you uh, get it in a uh, long rest sort of thing. My bad. Regardless... We are going to quickly wild shape into a bear. And this is going to be our primary form for a while. Alright. Now, we can remain in the form for as long as we possibly want. As far as I'm aware. And we just need to dismiss it if we hit this button. As for what we are going to be doing with this form, though, we need to add some abilities, I do believe. Okay, skills. Uh, custom. Oh, character sheet. Uh, let's see. Okay, where's my character sheet, then? Hmm. Okay, in this form, let's see. I can Goading Roar, Claws... I should be able to throw. Can I not? I can jump as a bonus action. Hmm. Can I not throw? 
Well, that's going to be annoying if I can't throw, because this was the entire premise of the build. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... Okay, let's actually cancel out of the uh, form for now. Because I should be able to use it as much as I want. Yep, there we go. Okay, Druid, Common. Okay, so how do I... Hmm. I might have to figure this out a bit more, because I thought I could throw with this uh, build. I guess not. Which is annoying, because I would have loved to throw with this character, because that's the whole premise I would have liked. Okay, we're going to go into druid form here again. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay, for now, yeah, let's just go bear form. Why not? We'll figure it out as we go. It's fine. But hey, we get a form that has 30 HP, which is really insane, mind you. Okay, I guess we'll check out the other corpses here, because why, why not, right? I uh, will take that. We are going to need to grab the abducted commoner here. Okay. Yeah, because I can pick up... I can pick up... Uh, I can pick up people. And yeah, I can throw them. Hmm. Hold on. Am I going to have to do this a weird way? Let's see, what happens if I throw it? Okay, that's just me hucking it. It's it's actually me dropping it, not, you know, throwing it. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to throw. I don't know. I'll have to figure out the commands here. Let's see. Well, it seems I can hide. I can dash. I can disengage. I can certainly jump. Uh, goading roar. That's basically just taunt, I guess. There is apparently a chest here. Uh, I can't reach it, though, just yet. And there's a barrel here. I guess we can check that while we're here. Okay, we get tongs and rope. Rope is always good. I'm going to grab that. Tongs, I'm not so sure. We'll leave it alone for now. Okay, but otherwise there doesn't appear to be anything too special around here, so I guess we will just move on our merry way. Hmm. Um, drag actions, spells, and items from your character sheets. Okay, where is my character sheet then? Equipment, spellbook, alchemy. Uh, skills. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know... Okay. Well, at least I can use Lunar Mend, which is an interesting ability. But I don't think that's going to help here. Hmm. Uh, detailed view. Summary. Well, at least I got stealth, so I can play a sneaky bear, but that isn't going for the wrestler vibe. I'm going to have to figure something out. I do know there is an item that we can use to supplement what we're going for. And the bear form was going to be the intentional go-to go for my build anyway, so there you go. Not proficient with that, so I'll just grab everything there. 
I'm going to pick that up. And we'll go up here now. To the cartilage chest. Okay, we will get the potion of healing, the void bulb. Ignore the skull. And we got ourselves some drought poison. Cool. Alright, anything else here? Not really. Well, I guess aside from, you know, the mind flare, but that's a given. I guess we'll grab you. Uh, potion of speed. Void bulb, but not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Just wondering if there's any way to... Let's see... Actually, gameplay maybe? Um, no, gameplay does not help here. Okay, hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to find another way to, uh... Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's just... Well, hold on. Okay, so how do you add things? Do I have to go back to camp to increase them, or is it something else? There's my journal, the map, ping. In-game menu is not what we need. Uh, party view, I guess, is the way to go. Apparently, uh, the relationship is neutral towards me, so that's good. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, spellbook. Oh wait, here we go. I need to go into my spellbook, then I need to go into common. Oh, no wonder. Now I know what the problem is. Oh, wild shape charge. Oh, recharge on short rest. Oh, okay, so I do have a limited numbers of usage on uh, my swapping of forms. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I can do a short rest, can't I? I just need to figure out how to do that. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, ten turns. Let's see. Until long rest. Long strider, I guess I can use. There we go. That'll allow us to move a little faster. I can use Enhanced Jump whenever Something I want. Uh, no. No, I'm good. Uh, let's see. Uh, action. How do we get to short resting? Oh, I guess maybe not there. God, hold on. Let me check controls. Uh, let's see. Keybinds. Here we go. Uh, short rests. Here we go. We need to press Y. We'll do a quick short rest. And we are going to... Now, my hope is that by doing Wild Shape here, I will be able to make this work. Okay. Wild shape into a bear. Here we go. Okay. Now we are guaranteed into this form. So now I go into my inventory. I go into my spellbook. Go into commons. Oh, so I can't actually throw with a... Uh... Well, that's annoying. Okay, so I won't be able to throw with a uh, bear form as I had originally planned. That is... 
arguably very annoying, so I won't be able to go with the wrestler idea that I wanted. Ah, well. I'm sure I'll be able to find other ways to uh, handle it, because I did say I want... I, I did want to go druid, mainly, so... I guess mauling the enemy is my next best thing. Actually, there is another way I might be able to get it. So, if I do recall correctly, if I go into a rage with Barbarian, I should be able to hurl as a part of a rage. It is a bonus action, and it counts as an ability that you earn. So if I can use that to my advantage, then I should be able to, as a bear, mind you, I should be able to make that work for me. At least I hope. Uh, we don't need water, so we'll go from there. Wooden trunk is locked, so we will pick that up. And we will keep that in storage for later. I don't see anything else here, so I guess we continue on. Off we go. We'll continue as a bear, for the most part. <laughs> and because we are a bear, we actually get a lot of benefits. For one, uh, going by the stats, we've got an insane strength, currently. So our strength is going to be bolstered by this, just by being a bear. So that's going to be fun. Okay, we can't go there unless we jump, so we're going to do that. I think the only downside of us being a bear is that we won't be able to move... Well, I guess we'll see. Oh! A scuffed rock. Uh, let's have you interact with it, Shadowheart. Never a dull moment. Hmm. Can I actually get this? No, I need to uh, get a pick of some kind. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything in my backpack that might help here? Uh, a lot of swords, but no pick. We'll have to come back for that later, but it is supposedly an item that we can use, so that will be something that we explore later on. For now, let's just climb up here. I did hear the sounds of somebody, so I guess we'll check that out. Up we go. And let's see what that noise is coming from. Hello? Hey! Hurry! I got one of those brain things cornered. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you kill the others? Yeah, easily. Stand back. I got it. There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. If this is a robbery, you're off to a bad start. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on a ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? <sighs> Put the knife away, and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Apologies accepted. Well, actually no. Glad to see we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Lindsay. Well, I guess I, I guess I could tell him my name and my story. Why not? My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Yeah. 
Unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flares. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Yeah. Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Uh. Control it? But we need to get rid of it. Not sure why you're using it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Well, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together, I suppose. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Sounds good. All right. Did we lose out on our wild shape? I don't think we did, so that's good. So, yeah, we're still in wild shape polar bear form. Good. All right, we've now got an ally in Asterion, a rogue. So we're going to level up here, and we will go from there. Once I do level him up, however, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Because we have been going for a few hours. I'm not sure on the time scale whether I've gone for three hours or not. I don't know. It's been a while, so I'm just sort of hoping things are going well. But we're, we've gotten quite far, I must admit, so I'm quite satisfied, to say the least. Alright, we've... He's already set up, so actually... Yeah, we should actually be good. Uh, before we do go, though, I am going to spend, like... I'll spend some time actually checking out the ship a bit more. Why not? I got the time. And we should be able to get, like... Maybe an hour? Well, maybe not. I'm probably gonna go for 20 more minutes and we'll go from there, I suppose. That should be enough time. Okay, this is where we just were, so we don't need to go any further here. So I guess we will make our way northward here. And we are gonna make our way up to here, I'd say. See what we find. Or, better yet, no, we'll go here. Oh, hello. A mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Just be careful. Indeed. Let's just start approaching. Ah, do I kill it? No, I'll, I'll interact with it first. To speak. Oh, right. I'm a bear. <laughs> well, it probably didn't have anything special for us, so... Cease. <laughs> Better to get rid of them while we have the chance, right? I'm gonna need something to speak with humans in my bear form, though. At some point, I feel. Okay, there's nothing up here. Nothing there. Okay, I don't see anything too crazy around here, so I guess we'll go over here, which I guess leads to the exit outside where Asterion was. Okay, so there's nothing too crazy around here. And we can't actually get to that rock just yet, but we will uh, explore it later, I'm sure. For now, though, we'll have to leave it alone. And in that regard, let's see... Um, we'll deal with the uh, lock stuff later. We're going to send everything to camp for now, and we'll go from there. Okay, we got a Nautiloid tank. I will send that to camp. And we should be good. For now, that is. I will organize everybody later, but for now, I'm not in a rush to do so. Thus, we will continue. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking supplies, maybe. Yeah. Got a potion of healing. We've got a goblin scimitar, which is worth some gold. I guess I can... Toss that in the bag and do something with it, I'm sure. Uh, we got a goblin bow. I'll take that and the supply pack, but nothing else should be needed. And off we go. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, no kidding. Let's start conversation. We'll approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Alright, let's touch the sigil. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not good. Oh. A hand? Anyone? Hmm. Uh, it seems I can use my strength here, or I could use my druid wisdom. 
Yeah, let's select a hand. Ow. Perhaps I should have clarified. Hmm? A helping hand. Anyone? All right, all right. Uh, let's let flow some words of prayer to soothe the sigil's magic. Why not? We'll add a guidance, and we got another set of guidance here. Oh, but I can use my own, so whatever. There we go. We get a 17. Nice. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Get over here. Pull you out a circle, and there we go. All right. Interesting. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I must be better at this. No need to apologize. You all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Nautiloid as well. Never mind the Nautiloid. How'd you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. I was plummeting to certain death, a spider, a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Hmm. But, to be honest, I haven't a clue. Fair enough. But even so, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region, were you not? Eh, yeah, I couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Hmm. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric skills. Most? No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Hmm. I can tell the basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites? I'm afraid not. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. Oh, absolutely We're not. We're certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more, and look for a healer together? Eh, sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Yeah, oh, something. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Yep, sounds like an indeed like a plan. And now I'm back to, I'm back, I'm back to bear form, of course. Ah, uh, lovely. But yeah, we've got now Gale, a wizard, so yeah. I guess I'll give him a quick level up and then I'll wrap things up here. Alright. And hopefully the footage is going well, because I didn't test this in advance, obviously, because it's going to take a few hours to confirm, but I digress. Let's see. We can bring him into evocation, or we can choose a different set subset of uh, classes for him. I think out of everything, I very much prefer Conjuration, or any sort of Druid, or uh, Caster. Simply because having the ability to conjure stuff out of nothing is really nice. The alternative is Illusion, obviously, but I digress. As for what we can choose, I guess we've already got prepared spells here. Uh, Grease is a Conjuration, Thunder Wave, Enchantment... Vocation Aberration. So we got a variety of abilities here, it seems. Uh, he also knows a few other spells, mainly just Fog Lab, though. Well, that's perfectly fine. I can swap him up to Illusion, because having an Illusion would actually be really helpful for uh, luring enemies into a certain location. So, an Illusion Wizard wouldn't be bad. Hmm. As for what we can use here, 
Uh, silent image would be a good one. Or minor image, even. Yeah, what spells does he have? Let's see. Right, grease, sleep, witch bolt, thunder wave. Improved minor illusion. You can cast minor illusions as a bonus action. Uh, we could conjure water uh, for free. Uh, we can incapacitate targets. Uh, if we use divination, we can get potent dice. Transmutation. You can brew two alchemical solutions instead of one when combining extracts. If you succeed a DC 15 medicine check. Uh, let's see. What is his current abilities? I guess it'll be fine for now. Transmutation is a tempting prospect, though, I must admit. Uh, otherwise, we've got things like Necromancy, which will regain hit points if we kill a creature. Uh, let's see. We can prevent people from taking damage, or we can go with Arcane Ward. Hmm. You can cast Minor Illusion as a bonus action. Hmm. I don't think I need to cast it as a bonus action. I can just use it later on. There's no big deal. Um, Experimental al Alchemy is going to be really nice if I want to make two alchemy items, which would be good. I guess we can go Transmutation. Why not? Let's go Transmutation. As for what we're going to go with here, let's see. Hmm. A shield would be nice, but it only lasts one turn, so as a reaction, it's not that good. Uh, we're going to immediately grab Magic Missile, because that's a good staple, and we're going to grab Featherfall. Both are really good spells to have. For a number of reasons, I would imagine. But I digress. Let us open our spellbook here. And let's see. Uh, I should be able to learn more spells. I can learn Detect Thoughts, but for now I'm going to hold off. Uh, it does appear that we lack the ability to use a Minor Illusion, but that's fine. And I can learn new spells if need be, which is an option. As for what, I'm going to abstain, and I'm going to actually wrap it up here. I have no idea how far things are going to go with this campaign, but um, given that I can't throw anybody just yet, this is going to be a long-winded game, because the original goal was to start hucking people. I was going to be throwing people and just having fun with that. Uh, that is unfortunately not viable with the bear, unless I can find a way to throw as a bonus action, even though I'm wearing nothing to coordinate or coordinate with this. There are other ways I can go about doing things. I'm sure there's like... I mean, I got bonus actions, I got other things I can use. But it is certainly annoying that I can't do anything. In this sort of state currently, I mean. Uh, let's see. I mean, I can do other things, like I got claws, I can do a goading roar to taunt. There's options, put simply. But for now, I think I gotta wrap it up here. And we will have to figure out how we're going to start hucking people in the near future. But I digress. I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I will see you guys next stream. Take care, everyone. And have a good day. Two hours, not bad.